Hey everyone, this is Manly Badass Hero, and welcome to Blood Wash, a horror game presented by Puppet Combo, where you go to wash the laundry and never come back. Nice couch. It's not the best in the world, but it was free. What a day. Professor Watt was his usual miserable self, and that test was a killer. Hopefully I can just relax and... Of course, Liam didn't do the laundry or clean. I'll have to do a load of laundry. I have an interview for a job tomorrow and have nothing to wear. I'll gather these clothes up and head to the laundry room in the basement. I'm going to have to talk to Liam later. I'm too upset and tired to go through it again. He's going to have to pull it together for this baby. You're going to have to pull a lot of things together. Look at this place. It's a mess. My kitchen cabinets. I worked really hard to clean them out, and I'm proud they stay clean. Grab that. You should really grab these empty pizza- I hope they're empty pizza boxes. <laughs> Filled with a couple horror movies I have. Nothing better to sit down to at the end of the day. All right, I think that's all the dirty laundry. Time to go to the basement. All right, let's get going. A nice man lives here. It's good to know you have at least one good neighbor. A neighbor who likes to smoke in the hallway. I'm hoping her son lives here. Now that I think about it, I haven't seen either one in about a week. Floor triple. Gotta go down to the bottom floor. Well, this place is... Yeah, clean. Musty box. I don't think anything, anything inside would interest me. Out of order. What? Out of order? What am I going to do now? I should probably go back upstairs and figure something out. I think I heard something coming from that closet. Whoa. How you doing? God damn, girl, you scared the bejesus out of me. I scared you? You scared me. What the hell are you doing creeping around down here? Look, I'm sorry for scaring you. I'll tell you, but can you keep this to yourself? Jesus Christ, Joe, you're insane. Yeah, I can. What's up? Uh, the missus kicked me out and it's too cold outside, so I'm trying to wait her out down here. I really didn't mean to creep on you. Honest. I believe you. Just next time maybe don't go around slinging doors open and hiding in the dark. I will. Thanks, kid. Say, if you want to use the washing machine, it's, uh, broken. Yeah, thanks. I figured that out. Now what? Sorry again for scaring you, kiddo. It's okay. Oh, someone's out there. Hey, how you doing? It's our nice neighbor. What's up, Sarah? Oh, you know, trying to balance life, school, and job hunting. It's a tough world these days. Liam been treating you well. No. When he isn't drunk. Yeah. You'll tell me if it gets bad. Yeah, I know it ain't easy to talk about. And you don't have to tell me nothing. Just promise me you'll tell me if you need help. My sister used to be in a bad situation too. And there's places you can go. I appreciate that, Stan. I really do. Yeah, sure. You doing some laundry at this time of night? I'm trying to. 
Of course, when I really need it, the washer downstairs is broken. You know, typical horror game setting stuff. Ain't that some shit. Yeah. And speaking of shit, I have an interview tomorrow, so I guess I'll show up smelling like crap. Well, if it's an emergency, I heard of this laundromat that's open 24-7, just outside of town. Still early enough to catch the last bus. I'll have to say, though, it's a hell of a time to be out so late. Especially with that maniac roaming around. I'm a big girl, Stan. Do you know the address? Sure, sure. Let me write it down for you. Just promise me you'll take care, I. I'm gonna go grab my purse before I head to the laundromat. Here it is. Alright, hopefully I didn't miss that last bus to the laundromat. Later. Hopefully I don't die. Hmm. Headline reads, Womb Ripper Strikes Again. In the early hours of the 30th of 40s, were called when a passerby found a terribly mangled corpse haphazardly tossed on nearby grounds. Sources indicate that the woman was indeed pregnant, and just like previous victims, the fetus was cut out and soon to be taken by the assailant. Oh, we're pregnant. This is now the fourth victim in as many weeks, and the 40s are struggling to come up with leads in one of the most gruesome crime sprees the city has ever endured. The baby. The void. An old suitcase. I really shouldn't get in the middle of a gang's drug drop off. That could be an adventure for another night. Sequel. Hi there. Are you okay? Can I get you anything? It's gone. They, they, they took it. Did someone steal something from you? They took it. The people in the walls. They, they took it from me. Oh God! She's here now. I should probably leave him alone. Poor All right, let's wait for the bus. The job opening for security guard is posted. I'd apply, but it's nights only, and I wouldn't have time to do homework. Scary night. Hey, what you looking at? What you looking at, buddy? You want to go? Yeah, that's what I thought. Another electrical box. Thingamabob, my brother's electrician. Anything back here? Yeah, there's a person. Got any change? Sure, I have a couple dollars. Better than nothing. Thanks, kid. Haven't seen you around here before. I moved in not too long ago. I'm usually studying or at my classes, so that's probably why. Oh, a college girl, huh? What are you studying? I'm pursuing a career in education at the moment. Nice. That's what I got my bachelor's in. Oh, that's great. I hope I can find a gig soon afterwards. If not, my sleeping bag has room for two. Oh, looks like the bus is here. See you later. Good luck with that teaching gig. Where are you heading at this hour, if you don't mind me asking? To horror premise, at the end of town. The laundromat on the outside of town. Not sure I believe that. Pretty late to be doing laundry. Hey, if you're looking to score, I have a good deal just for a pretty little thing like you. You won't even have to pay cash if you know what I mean. How about you just drive the bus and I'll pretend you're not a desperate loser. Whatever, bitch. Sit the fuck down so I can get this piece of junk rolling again. Uh, Dirty seat, dirty seat. Hey, what's this? Has to be fake. Some people have a sick sense of humor. Alright. Let's take an exciting bus trip to a weird, strange laundromat at the end of town that's open 24-7.
Which is actually not that strange when I think about it. The Womb Ripper part, that's a little strange. I, I probably wouldn't go if there was a Womb Ripper. Hey, buddy. You gonna... Sit down? You just gonna stand? Cool. It's so dark out, I can't even see the street. It's almost like it's one black texture. Hey, creepy guy. Hello. May I sit beside you? Yeah, why not? There's plenty of other seats, so I don't see why you would need to do that. May I... May I sit beside you? Are you deaf? Do I need to get the driver to throw you off? You're going to die tonight. What? You're going to die tonight. I've seen it. Tonight is your last night on Earth. You are walking straight into your doom. Can't you see that? You and that child inside you. How did you... You will be found just like all the others. Ripped open. Your insides displayed for all the angels above to look down and see. Oh yes, of that I am certain. Please, just stop talking. May I sit beside you? All right, miss. This is your stop. You'd think if a guy this thing you're gonna die tonight, you would just go home. Blood wash. But this really is at the end of town. Oh my god. Why is it why is there scary music? It's too early for that. Smells like a society built on waste and manly soul. So as long as I'm at, I'm gonna kind of circumvent look for secrets real quick. Sin eater. Looks like a code to something. 0451. More sinier. Secret. Oh my god. It's a, uh, game toy. I'll bring you back before I leave. It'll be a long night, so I might need it. 
Yes, what is it? Oh, um, are you all really open all night? We're open all night, but I take my naps at midnight, so you better not need anything after that. Oh, okay. I'll be sure not to need anything. Yeah, we'll see. I need something. Yes, what is it? Oh, um, we're up. Oh, yeah. It's empty. Guess the guy behind the counter does do something around here. Oh man, comic book collecting. Hmm, this wall looks different than the others. Weird. Alright, that should be enough for a wash and dry cycle. Pork Secret's Revenge. Ow, I've died. So we have actual game. Let's see if the TV works. Yep. Welcome to Glacier Peak Ski Resort, where the air is fresh. The sky is blue, and the slopes are killer. This winter, Mount Doubleton has a new resident, and it's decided to dine in. Will these innocents... So that's advertisement for the creator's other game? Okay. Doing a late night wash too? Yeah. I work night shift at the factory down the road. This place is the only one open when I get off work. It was a real pain when the first one burnt down. First one? You knew around here? Yeah, this place used to be next door years ago. But there was a big fire. I don't think they ever found out exactly what caused it. That sounds awful. Girl died in that fire, too. An employee. I don't like to spread rumors, but... But what? Pretty mysterious. The way she died, I mean. It wasn't a fire that started quickly. She should have had plenty of time to get out. But she was found in the office. I heard they were close to opening up a murder investigation. That a detective thought the girl was locked in. But then decided to drop it when nobody came up. You know, cops. Lazy sons of bitches. Well, if that's true, it does sound pretty suspect. Sure does. Feels like it got swept under the rug pretty quick, what with the womb ripper coming around and butchering those women. That has all the headlines these days. I wonder... So, like... Was the death caused by the womb, womb ripper? Or is that death the catalyst for the womb ripper? And I'm assuming the, the previous location was behind this wall. Maybe this is our secret base. They live in the old burned down location. No one has decided to check it. Anyway, let's wash my stuff. I mean, it's a dry machine. Hold up. I mean, let's wash my stuff, not dry my stuff. Here we go. Guess I can take a look out at the other stores on Plaza while I wait for my clothes. Well, let's check the restrooms real quick. Smells like a toilet. Locked. Weird. No, oh, phone. Sounds like someone's screaming. But like vaguely distorted. Yeah, see, he's taking his nap now. What in the world is that noise? Sounds like a child crying, but... I don't think it's a kid. So we get some pizza. So 
Sweet. It's a missing person fly that was a young woman listed missing over a week ago. There's so many different ones. I wonder if anyone around here knows anything about this. I can bring this to the people and see if they have anything to say about. Run bums. A good night's sleep is in my future that I don't want to hear about. I'm very good at these kinds of games. The skill has anything to do with it. It's a rigged. Hey, can you comment on this? Do you know anything about the recent disappearances? No, not really. One of the girls who was in my class was one of them, though. I didn't know her too well, except that she was pregnant. I hope that she just skipped down and not one of the, you know, victims. <sighs> Sorry, didn't see you there. Can I get you anything? No thanks. I'm just killing time until my laundry next door is done. Well, you're out late. Uh, just a heads up, we're closing soon. Feel free to hang out until then, though. Hey, old pizza. Up over here. Pea paws. Looks like this is a convenience store. Uh, TV, final records, video games. We don't get enough handheld horror games. Wait, isn't that? No, it can't be. It must be a coincidence. Oh man, sweet. I already have one. It's been great to have it since I'm really home these days. You got aquariums. You are a very diverse store. Whoa. Ha. <laughs> gotcha. Uh, so you're not stealing anything? No, I'm just exploring, looking for secrets. Ahem. <clears throat> My apologies. Indirectly, I'm kind of stealing things, because I like grab random things on the ground and keep them. Like this. Do you know anything about the recent disappearances? Recent? This has been going on for a long time. How long? Like, when the Womb Ripper killings first began? Lord, no, I'm talking years, girl. Years? Don't make me repeat myself. Yes, this area hasn't been the safest place. Not since that laundromat caught fire. The one over there? No, that's the new one. The old one is right next to it. Been empty ever since that night. Are you saying there's some correlation between the laundromat fire and the missing people? I'm just saying what I'm saying. Well, did anyone die in the fire? We don't know. The girl working there when the fire broke out was never found. No bones or nothing. After that, people would go missing here or there. And as time has gone on, it's become more frequent. Made my daughter and grandchildren move out of the area a few years ago because of it. Anything else you can tell me? Uh, leave an old man be. I have things to attend to. I'm heavily wondering if the girl herself is the killer. Well, we're kind of done here. Maybe she had, like... Because she's targeting people with babies. Maybe she won the baby. Maybe she lost hers. Who knows? We'll see. Oh, yeah. Can you comment on this? What do you accomplish something? I don't know anything about those missing people. Sorry. Oh, it looks like there's a zero minutes and 53 seconds left. Wow, it's... It's actually hard, hard timed. Interesting. Oh, doll head, an ugly doll head. I remember seeing that on my way in. Uh, not my 
kind of doll, if you know what I mean. Done. It's kind of nice, you know, when laundry machines can neatly fold your clothes for you. Just come out, just ready to go. Stacked up nicely. Now we're going to dry them. This one has to build the front counter. But who is the bell? The bathroom key? Hmm. Go to the men's bathroom first. Let's report on the detailed suspect named Lewis Kennedy. This is just for public intoxication, but that name keeps popping up. I wonder if I found more about him. I can bring this to people and see if they have anything to say about it. It's empty, thank god. Useless, useless person. Person that sounds scary. Having a real rough night. Eight six seven five three oh nine. Ah, woo. Five six seven oh nine. This might be fun to call and get bored. There's a phone on Lombard I could use. More comics. Are we good? Um, weirdo. Who could have put this here? You want to comment on this? Don't know how you got that, but yeah, I knew Lewis. He owned the old laundromat that burnt down. We were buds, but he disappeared one day. It's the aliens, I tell ya. Lewis is looking down on us poor schmucks right now from the cosmos. Oh yeah, let's call that number. In just a few moments, you will be connected to the girl of your wildest fantasies for 60 free seconds. Well, hey there, stud. Hey. Oh, cool. No one's called me that before. Er, I mean, hey there, studette. Hey. I'm so glad you called. It's been so lonely over here. Been thinking about your big cut. Um... Damn it, I'm sorry. This is my first night on the job. I don't think it's for me. Well, that's okay. I didn't even know what this number was for. I just called for kicks. Oh, yeah. It's been one night, but I've had my fair share of creeps. Oh, I bet. Well, what kind of person just dials a random phone number at this time of night? A burnt-out college student who's waiting for their laundry to finish so she can go home and get some sleep. Those places are still open at this time of night? Uh, just this one, a little out of town. Wait, in that plaza with the pizza palace? Yeah, that one. You know it? Yeah, I live out there. Hey, you really shouldn't be out over there this late at night. Not with the womb ripper at large. I know one of the girls who went missing. She disappeared around that area, and I'm telling you that you should really just go home. There's some things that the newspapers don't talk about. There's more to it than just the stalking and killing. It's a real psychopath, and you are right in the middle of its hunting ground. Do you understand? You're being strangely descriptive, my friend. You need to take your laundry right now and get out of there as fast as you can. Your free 60 seconds has ended. To have another late night sexy... Oh, that got intense. I really wish I could leave. I'll just have to keep a lookout. Like, unusually... <laughs> unusually descriptive. And I gotta kill nine minutes. I guess I'll talk to some NPCs. Hey. Can I help you? Looking for anything specific? A movie? A video game? Fish? Hope. Um, no. Just browsing, thanks. Alright, well, let me know if you need any help. And don't you even think about stealing anything. I have eyes everywhere. Wouldn't dream of it. You have quite an assortment of things. What kind of store is this again? It's Peepaw's. I'm Peepaw. It's my store. 
Right. Old Lewis was a real son of a bitch. Had a real eye for the younger girls he did. Don't mean to gossip, but I have it on good authority. He was the one who knocked up that poor girl who worked for him. Ah, see, so here we go. Can't remember her name, but between that scandal, the fire, and then the disappearances, I would say all the details will never be known. That could still lend to uh, the employee being the killer. To the pizza parlor guy. Lewis Kennedy? Nope, never heard of him. Okay, that was before you like started working here then. Dang, what if with you old women and just like ninja appearing behind people? You look just like her. Who? Same eyes, same hair. Oh, she used to be so beautiful. But I've lost her. It's been so long now, and I can't find her. Oh, did you know one of the girls who went missing around here? Ma'am? I guess she's done talking. Seven commentary on the mask. I forgot about this. That looks cursed. You should get a priest for that. Or a shotgun. I don't dabble in that stuff anymore. That's not creepy at all. Yeah, not really much of a commentary about these. Oh, you're right. This is this was the car from the start of the game. Hmm. This newspaper talks about a laundromat burning down. Most of the details are too faded to read. I wonder if anyone out here knows what happened. Like, read us the people and see if they have anything to say about it. It was a real shame. Sometimes the only way to hide a secret is to burn it. Yeah, I guess that's it from you. Wish this place would go up in flames next. <laughs> Just kidding. You know how these places sometimes operate. That's not completely out of the picture. And just you. Yeah, sad day. Used to do my laundry there. And let me tell you, it was a lot better than this shithole. Had this real hot chick working there too. Shame she got pregnant. Had real potential to be a passenger on the D train, if you know what I mean. Okay, looks like it's done. What the hell? These clothes are still wet. She must be broken. Those were my last quarters. You need to find that employee and get my quarters back. Employee's dead. Whoa! Oh my god. Oh my. It's the employee. He's been ripped to shreds. I need to call the police. Dang. Just a bunch of old records, nothing interesting. You're not gonna comment on the blood. Hammer. This might come in handy later. Nothing useful. So if I would know the code. The code is out there! your emergency. Hello? My name is Sarah. You need to send someone now. I'm at the... Shit! 20 minutes later. Dispatch said they got a call coming from out here. But it's strange. I can't seem to be able to find anyone. Oh my god. We're gonna play the guy who dies first. Well, second, if we count the store guy. 
locked weird. Wait a minute. Is that someone crying? It sounds like it's coming from that office by the pizza place. Income tax? Oh my god. The villain was the IRS. Hello? Is anyone there? This is the police. If anyone is there, then come out now. There's something wrong here. I better investigate thoroughly. No, it's taxes. Schedule a quest doesn't look suspicious to me. Expense reports. I love coffee. Coffee machine. Pretty long to-do list, nothing eye-opening. Staples pens, office supplies. Nothing fascinating or interesting. Aha, uh -huh, would you look at that? My confession in this email from Ben saying he's been the one eating Donna's lunch. Whatever case solved, you bastard. Useless. Locked. Let me find a key. This place looks... Strangely big. For what we saw on the outside. Is... Are you holding a... Baby? What... The fuck... Was that? Holy Jesus... Was it holding a... Child? Get ready to go, Blat Blat. A paranormal cop. Office key. Locked. Oh no, I don't like this. No, I need a different key for here. God, am I glad to see you? I almost shot you because you're an office worker. You gotta help me. There's some crazy person running around with a knife. Slow down. It's okay. Just follow me and I'll get you out of here. Oh my god. Shoot. <laughs> Shit. There has to be another way out of here. Why did we shoot? Sure. Oh my god. Why do you have a spear? Serpentine. Well, they're dead. I never even shot. It's been forever and no one is coming for me. Maybe I can make a run for it. Nope. Well, they don't seem to care who they kill. It's not exactly the womb ripper, they just kind of like rip and tear in general. Well, we're doomed. The 
anything useful in here? Anything I can defend myself with? It's a receipt for a building repair company. Looks like they had to repair one of the walls in this laundromat of plaster. I know which one. So the killer was definitely in the bathroom. Because he remember they weren't wearing any shoes. What? Who could have done this? How am I supposed to get out of here? The laundry done at least? No, never mind. Oh my god. There's someone on the other end. Okay, let's wait first before we check out that wall, which I'm gonna use the hammer on. Let's check the bathroom, see if that's the stall they were in. No, it's still there. They just went back to the bathroom, like, alright, kill a few people, gotta take a whiz. Aha, uh -huh, there's a door behind here. This is a very big laundromat. Looks like everyone in the bathrooms. No, oh, I'm hearing that killer baby. See, what do we have to work with? Uh oh, lights. His headline reads Main suspect in police investigation disappears. 45 year old Lewis Kennedy has gone missing, and the top suspect in this grisly crime of an arson and alleged kidnapping murder of a young woman has eluded authorities. Say, I don't think it's Lewis Kennedy. It looks like they were killed. Sources say that Kennedy had been under surveillance for a few weeks, and that some time over the course of last night had been broken contact with officers. It has not been seen since. A 40s issued a warning for all residents in the area to be on lookout for this potentially dangerous individual. It's either the former employee, or the, she actually was able to have the kid, and then the kid is getting revenge for his mom. Oh my god. Nothing useful. Empty. Flashlight? What are you doing here? I should probably leave. Won't budge. Uh oh. Uh oh. We good. I'm trying to pull up the flashlight here. Oh my god. It's a corpse. Looks like it's been for a very long time. Oh my god. Flesh. How long have I been here? Last thing I remember was walking home and now. I'm locked in this godforsaken room. Who would do this to me and why? Even if I don't want to get out of here. There's dried blood on the walls and the floor and I have my child to think about now. Yeah. Locked. Has to be a key around here somewhere. I know I won't be getting out of here alive. That psychopath, it... It kills women like me. I've heard at least three of us brought here and killed. Peeking from the cracks, I saw that it creates these masks out of skin. Skin from the poor infants whose mothers were just slaughtered. I don't know what kind of game it's one to play. I think the time is almost up. It made me swallow a key. A key that I think would get me out of here. 
but I have a feeling it won't let me live long enough to use it. I'll be struck and butchered like the rest of my baby. Oh god, I'm sorry, my little angel. Well, I know what I have to do. These, these comics are flooding my inventory. I can't believe I'm doing this. Free key. Empty. That's probably Lewis Kennedy right there. Oh my god. It's a corpse. It looks like it's been here for years. There's a wallet sticking out of his pocket. What? The driver's license belongs to Lewis Kennedy. But this doesn't make any sense. I need to get out of here and call the police. So if it's the baby grew up, let's say there's like some kind of secret cubby hole or something and survived the fire, then the baby wants to return to the womb. It's killing the other babies to be the baby and stuff like that. Some kind of thing like that. If it's the employee, then it's just they're just getting revenge in general. This is terrible. She's been split open. Looks like she hasn't been here very long. Don't you T-pose me. I hope you're a mannequin. Oh my god, this is... How big? This laundromat's too big! This doesn't make sense! Find the child. I need to finally get this lock off. Not a real door. Gotta go in this maze. Oopsie daisy. Hope I don't die. Yeah, you have a... Look at damn catacombs under your laundromat. Oh no, the cop. Better keep this to me just in case. To loot in on itself. Can I shoot out the lock? No, it's not even loaded. Let's cross. No, 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 no. Looks like a break under me. Bizarre. It's a doll has been cut in half. Maybe now I can shoot out the lock. Okay, now it breaks. Flat. you asshole I'm ready for you are we really you could be one of the mannequins are you Could end up surviving. Or not. But the previous victims, I'm assuming, were captured and brought here. Well, we kind of wandered in. And the cop brought a gun. 
Oh god, you are gonna be one of the mannequins. Oh no. You're gonna do that. You're gonna cheat literally T pose me a death. Yeah, that's right. You wanna go? How much ammo do we have? Apparently unloaded. Well, I think I'm dead? Or I'm bugged out? Let's see who the killer really was, oh, gang. Makes sense now. Lewis Kennedy wasn't killing all those women. It was Samantha. After Lewis locked her in the laundromat and burned it down, she survived. And she must have lost her baby, though. With almost being killed, losing her child, and being terribly burned, she completely snapped. She killed Lewis, and then set her sights on killing others who had something she didn't. Oh, God. Kind of surprised we survived. This is not good. I to be woken up so late for an impromptu autopsy, but when they told me that it was the actual womb ripper, well, I got down here as soon as I could. I can't believe that it turned out to be Samantha Rhodes, who'd gone missing and was presumed dead years ago. So we're gonna die. I'm 100% I'm sure of that. Cause of death, multiple gunshot wounds. Not the official cause of death, but Jesus Christ. I don't even understand how she was alive in the first place, let alone how it took so many shots to bring her down. Most of those look fatal in the first glimpse to me. Guess we'll dig in to find out more. She survived out of pure rage. Anything else here? Not really. What the hell? The power went out. The fuse box is down the hall. Right back. Don't you go anywhere. You're literally cut open. 
Are you gonna be a zombie now? I, I, I just know I'm gonna die, but like, who's gonna do it? Oh god. Please don't be behind me. We're good. To the left. We're good. Yep, we are dead. I'm gonna turn around and we're all gonna die. What the? She's gone. I have to get out of here. Okay, no one's there. Right here? No. What? So that's it for Bloodwash. I think that was a very good, well-paced horror game. It did go for the mundane horror. When I always mention mundane horror, I mean slow kind of build up. You're doing something mundane. It runs on literal time as not, here's a time lapse. It's more like, all right, you literally have to wait 20 minutes for the game to really start kind of thing. But it does add some breakup in that tension. It's not just here, you're sitting here, nothing happens. It does have a little bit of stuff going on. You know, you talk to the NPCs, you kind of get a, a build up for the setting, and then the thing comes after you. I will say the climax is a lot like climatic, not the epilogue. I really like the epilogue. That's fine. Just the, the gun, the shootout kind of parts is kind of very blat blat. It's over. When you take down like a, a Jason kind of like figure, you always kind of like want it to be a little more, a little more epic per se. Not like Lord of the Rings or a Marvel movie epic, but um, a big chase and kind of build up and finale. Because if you know horror slasher movies, the final chase is always pretty long. It's always kind of drawn out. There's a lot of big struggles. They think you're dead, but then they're not. It's kind of multi-step. And this was just kind of like done and done. So that'd be my only criticism. Except for that, I pretty much enjoyed the uh, the full journey. Anyway. So, thank you all for watching me play Bloodwash. I'll see you guys later. And take it easy.